Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master of Time. In the last episode, you remember that uh, I ran out of magic and we had to struggle our way with the uh, hookshot? Well, we still don't have magic. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't left this spot, um, but conveniently enough, they left us some in Spot, and I think we can just go in and back out more. Alright, well the smart thing to do then would be hopefully we have enough for the Skull Kid Wind so that we can at least I need to make sure I have the right item. Okay. I have to map these buttons to my Switch controller and since there aren't C buttons, I don't want to press them. <laughs> okay. Alright, so luckily we had enough to put a <clears throat> a spawn point so that we can warp out of here, go get some magic, and then come right back where we left off. Sorry, I'm like trying to make sure my microphone picks me up because I think it was cutting out a little bit in the last episode. But anyway. And also, I can't talk out loud because uh, we have people over and I work nights, so I'm up recording at night. Anyway, how do we warp? So yeah, I'm I'm trying to make sure that I speaking loud enough that the microphone can pick it up, but also I'm trying to be considerate to people that are asleep right now. Oh, I was gonna say, like, I remember walking in here before. Okay. I wish you would let me skip through this. I don't know why this is the only text that it. If you're wondering, yes, I hit the wrong. <laughs> okay, that fills it up completely. Um, okay, and then if you hit the B button there, it just pulls you out of the entire thing. Doesn't let you skip the, you know, instruction, whatever, info dialogue, but I don't know. That's so weird. 
Um, no. Okay. Does, I don't remember. Does the wind work outside of the dungeon? That would be actually, you know what, before we do that, let's um, let's heal ourselves. How can we do that? I know, um, there is a piece of heart that we need. So... Right, down, right, A, down. Outside the ass. Okay. In that case, I think we go this way. It's, um. I don't know how to explain it. I'll just. You guys will see. For one, still haven't gone in that door. But there is a cave way back on that mountainside that we missed. Is that always just a door like that? That's weird. Okay, so now that we have backtracked through that, there's a cave down here that we went in 
and there was a room with a door that was barred shut and I couldn't see a switch or anything to open it so we just left but uh, I was watching a playthrough by Newborn Keelik on his channel Newborn Keelik Plays and um, he's a pretty cool guy by the way like I'll leave I'll put his information in the description so you can go check him out too and watch him watch his playthrough as well just because it's interesting how uh, we both have very different routes and uh, how much it changes the game. For example, like he had uh, Neighbors Love, the blue gem thing. Um, and so a lot of battles and sections were a lot different for him. Anyway, uh, here's the room. So the, the room that we can't get through is obviously that one. And we never unlocked it. He actually shot this crystal switch from down here. Um, which is also different for us, I'm fairly sure. Unless I came up here and... I don't know, but there is a switch that we did not get, right? If I looked for it, it was right above my head. And he actually went in here, which I'm pretty sure is where we came from. I think we took this path. We were here first. And then went this way. So, let's before we go this direction, let's check out what behind the other door. Wearing my patience at that point, I was just like, hit me up. There's bugging me big time, so I usually wear a hat. In fact, you know what? There we go. 
Hopefully that'll help anyway. What are we do? Looking for silver. Heart you took from me. Thank Here we go. Okay, I was like, how do we get up? More janky edges. I don't know. Do you want? Healing in big open room like this, so as not to miss any more switches. Did that open the gate? What am I doing the silver rupees for? What did that do? Let's make sure that we did everything back here. Pretty sure we did this in our yeah, because we I remember seeing the base. This is just where we went up to get blue fire that one time. Get rid of all these keys. Uh oh. 
The fact that they're disappearing tells me that there's uh, invisible stuff. Uh, good thing we went and got... What? It's not rendering? What's the... Oh, okay. I get it. I have to walk on them. You guys want to see something cool? Why this will not be a problem? What? That still doesn't do. All right. But, the reason it's not going to be a problem is because we can just ISG and then we won't fall off. So to do ISG, we are going to pull out a bomb, we're going to drop it, we're going to forge Oh, we don't have a shield. Thank you. Yeah, give me a fairy too. And we're back. First thing we have to do is take out all the keys. Once again. So, here, I'll explain ISG. So, I've mentioned it before. It's like we can place this bomb. We can swing our sword and then grab this. I don't think it did it, hang on. So, drop the bomb. I'm taking damage. There we go, I have it. So, can't fall off these ledges now. Unless we take damage. <laughs> Oh man. Well, still haven't gotten past this part, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, uh, hit the like button. I would appreciate that, especially. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.